Santosh, so I was asking you, how has Atik Ahmed family's name come into this gangster murder? Atik, uh, Santosh, go ahead. And remember why I say that this is about uh, politics as well as about tackling crime and law and order is because in assembly, Yogi Adityanath, the chief minister, and former chief minister Akhilesh Yadav had a huge showdown. Yogi Adityanath alleged all these gangsters were sent by Samajwadi party. When Akhilesh Yadav uh, protested about it, he said, remember, we will destroy all the mafia. Here's what Yogi Adityanath had said. कि जिस अतीक अहमद के खिलाफ पीड़ित परिवारों ने मुकदमा दर्ज कराया है उसके परिवार के खिलाफ वह समाजवादी पार्टी के द्वारा पोषित माफिया है और उसकी कमर को तोड़ने का काम हमारी सरकार ने किया है और फिर मैं कह रहा हूं कि इसे हम कह रहे हैं इस माफिया को मिट्टी में मिला देंगे All right, so that is uh, that you just heard was how the political showdown part of it. Remember uh, this with regard to Yogi Adityanath projecting himself as a man where law and order has become better, and therefore this is a question on that trademark strategy of Yogi Adityanath that Uttar Pradesh is safer now with a murder in broad daylight. And therefore this was also a test for the Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister to prove that such gangsters will not be allowed. Now this remember what we are looking at is the visual of uh, Vijay alias Usman. Usman according to our reporter was a name that he had been given that he had adopted after a while after he had started to indulge in crimes but one of the reasons also so he could hide the original Vijay identity and that's why we are identi identifying him as uh, Usman. He, but why is he being called as one of the main shooters is, according to our sources, that he was the one to shoot first, to open fire first, but he was the most difficult to identify. Finally, the Uttar Pradesh police and the STF managed to do so in an encounter taking place. But there is a question. The question is also about why arrests are not taking place and encounter directly. That's likely what the opposition has been asking in the previous encounter as well. And should there be an arrest or try for an arrest? than an encounter that directly leads to the killing. But there is an interesting angle coming in all of this. Before I go across to my colleague, Santosh Sharma, who will get us all the latest on this. This is Atik Ahmed, which is being brought into this specific news as well. Remember, Atik Ahmed has been a known gangster, but it is uh, one of his men, according to the police sources, that it was his gang shooters who were involved in the murder of Umesh Pal. This is the Special Operation Group, which is the SOG of Uttar Pradesh Police. And uh, the local police of Kodiyar, we are being told, who gunned down the shooter in the Umesh Pal murder case. This has happened in Trans Yamuna pocket area of Prayagraj district after a tip-off was received about him that the shooter is hiding there in this place. Uh, uh, in his late 20s, this man, where the encounter had taken place, there was already, as the information coming in, already there was a cash reward on this gangster, on this man. Santosh Sharma joins me now. Santosh, so who all were involved in the sense there was Uttar Pradesh Police, SOG, STF and uh, do tell us about the encounter. When did it take place, the timing of it, what happened? In early morning, this encounter um, occurred in uh, Trans Prayagraj area, which is uh, which falls in the police station, uh, Kondiyar police station area. This is the we can say the outer area of Prayagraj, where uh, uh, SOG of Prayagraj got a tip off from uh, from a call, which uh, uh, we can say Usman Chaudhary was calling to his uh, his uh, close and uh, faithful aid. And uh, he was on a surveillance. The police got that number and he was listening. And uh, after getting that call, they, um, they located him in, a, in that area, that is the Kondiyar area of police station. And uh, there uh, they tried to stop him, but we are getting uh, the story from our sources that the police uh, firstly tried to stop him and he is, uh, suddenly opened the fire on police. Uh, and, uh, du and during the exchange of fire, uh, he has been gunned down and he got uh, a bullet injury. Uh, he brought to a nearest hospital and after that for the uh, for further uh, 
treatment he brought to the Swarup Rani Hospital, a big hospital of Prayagraj, where doctor declared him dead. So we can. Yes, say here's my added question to is what is the Atik Ahmed connection in it? The gangster who's currently lodged in jail has about 70 cases of murder, uh, intimidation to murder, criminal cases against him of assault as well. How has his name now been uh, has cropped in in this shootout case in Prayagraj? Uh, Atik Ahmed is the main shooter, we, what we can say, Atik Ahmed's uh, son is named in this Sumesh Pal. His name is Asar. The police uh, what uh, declared uh, uh, the named uh, criminals, uh, those, those who have been, has been clearly identified is, one is Asid, who is the, uh, Asad, who is the, uh, we can say the third son of uh, Atik Ahmed. To Ali and Umar, they are already in jail in uh, Lucknow and Priyagraj. This is the third Asad who is studying law and uh, he was involved in the Umesh Pal murder case. What we got the CCTV uh, footage of that incident, the person who is coming out of the Krita car and uh, uh, suddenly he, he opens the fire. As he comes out of the car, he, he opens fire uh, um, He opens fire on Umesh Pal. He is the Asad and other one is Mohammed Gulam, very close to uh, Ali who is the uh, first son of Atik and very close to Atik Ahmed gang. Uh, other, uh, the second one is Guddu Muslim. Guddu Muslim is a known criminal for uh, Prayagraj police and we can say for UPSTF also. Everyone knows uh, about Guddu Muslim, Mura Saparandi. He is a uh, big, basically he bombards on uh, any incident. He, uh, he never fired on, uh, uh, he never used a, a pistol or any revolver for uh, to target his uh, target, uh, okay. to kill his target. He only uses his bomb and in the CCTV we, he can, uh, we can see him as a bombing uh, to, uh, to give uh, the cover fire, we can say, to, uh, to his companions in this Umesh Pal shootout. In the end, that's right. So there is this bomb or a tear gas shell to make that area smoky and hazy too. Thank you so much, Santosh Sharma, for tracking all the latest. He was at the Prayagraj Hospital. He's been at the site as well and is giving us an update on what happened. But what is the police saying on it? ADG Law and Order, Prashant Kumar, speaking to India Today Television. Here's what he had to say. बीजेपी का मुख्य है तो बताया गया था कि घटना का साबित किसी भी व्यक्ति को नुकसान नहीं जाएगा उसको कानून के हवाले किया जाएगा लगातार हमारी टीम में काम कर रहे हैं और ये शातेरी नामिया बदमाश जो कि हमारे